How you doing, cuties? My name is Jason Reed Darren, and today we are playing WWE 2K24. And I will be showing you guys how you can upload your face, your selfie, into the game so you can implement it onto your Create a Wrestler game. But first and foremost, we're going to go to online. We're going to go to community creations. We're going to go to image manager. And this is where the magic is going to happen. This is where you are going to be seeing, or this is where you're going to be downloading all your images from the browser site but before we get into all of that i want to show you guys how you can get the best results out of the photo that you're going to be uploading into the game here is my passport photo uh you could use your passport photo if you have one if you're taking a selfie that'll work just fine just make sure if you are taking a selfie make sure it's in a well-lit room because if it's in a in, if it's in a dark room, if there's uh, too many shadows casted on your face, it's not gonna look good. It's gonna make you look like that you have some weird skin disease when you upload it onto the um, character model. So here's my photo. First thing I'm gonna want to do is I'm gonna want to make sure that it fits into the image uploader. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna resize the document. I have resized it to 512 pixels by 512 pixels. And that's perfect. I'm gonna resize it perfect and uh i'm actually gonna want to uh i'm gonna unlock it and the program i'm using for this is called affinity photo it's a great program if um if it's a pretty bare bones program but if you have nothing else and you just want a, a solid photoshop program that you can make thumbnails on or anything like that i recommend affinity photo i'm actually going to um make my face a little bigger face a little bigger I don't want it to be too big though. I don't want to be, I don't want to have it covering the entire square. This is what we're working with here. Make sure it's nice and center. Doesn't have to be too big because you could resize it in the game. <clears throat> you can resize it in the game. There you go, see here, just about center. And this is what you're gonna do. I'm gonna create a new layer. I'm gonna create a new pixel layer. And I'm gonna go to my little paintbrush. I'm gonna go, where is it? Oh, I'm gonna take this little teardrop. And I'm going to um, color select, not the um, not the brightest part of my face, but kind of the more, the, the, the more of the, uh, more color, um, the more colorful. About right there. All right, select that. And I'm gonna, uh, I'm going to uh, hardness. I'm gonna want, yeah, I'm gonna change the hardness down a little bit and I'm gonna make the paintbrush a little bigger, like this. And I'm just gonna basically color this all in. The reason why I'm doing this is, is no matter how you, um, how you size your face in game, it's that you don't get like these like little white bits like behind, around my ear or like, uh, like lines from my hair or anything like that or like stray strands of hair into the um onto the uh, character model the reason why i turned down the hardness is so that it all kind of blends together like you see the the around the hairline and the, um, the shininess of my forehead make sure everything blends together as good as possible you don't want any lines you don't want to yeah you don't want any seams on your character model get rid of that little blemish there as well this is also good for um uh photoshopping perfect we have our face texture and now it is time to upload it into the game oh and i just want to add you don't necessarily need a um a desktop and or a um or like a or fancy photoshop to do this you could probably do this on your phone pretty easily you pretty easily just do this on your phone if you know what you're doing, if you know uh, how to use your that well, the editing software on your phone, or like the base software that uh, your phone comes with, you could probably just do all this in your phone, which is very convenient if you don't have a desktop or a computer. All right, I'm gonna pull up Google. I'm gonna search up um, da, da, WWE 2K24 image uploader. Sure. I'll provide the link to um, uh, this site in the description for those wondering. I'm going to upload images, and this is where you sign into your network. If you have an Xbox One account, Xbox XS account, you sign in there. PS4, PS5, Steam. I have a Steam account, so I'm going to be logging into my Steam account. 
All right, now we are greeted with the WW2K24 image uploader. And from here, you're gonna wanna click on face photo, 512 by 512 pixels. As we've mentioned, I'm gonna click on that and you're gonna go to, uh, ooh, you're gonna go right up here. I just saw it. There it is, face texture 001. Upload now. Agree and submit. There we go, perfect. And now we're going to go back to the game and see if it is in our upload folder. I'm going to open the game. I'm going to open the game. Press any button. Yes. Uh, no. Jump into my faction. No, I'm good. All right. We're going to go to creations. We're going to create a superstar. New custom superstar. Oh, wait. But first. First, first, first. We're going to go to online. We're going to go to community creations. We're going to go to image manager. And we're going to take a look at our uploads. There it is. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna click on it and it's gonna download. Local, there it is, saved in my local file. Now, we're gonna go into create a uh, wrestler, or create a superstar. We're gonna create new custom superstar and um, I identify as male. There we go here, create your custom superstar. Is this what we got? Is this is like the base? Hmm. Oh, can I just get gener El Generico? There we go. There's El Generico. This this will work. We are right here. Random close. I gotta press and hold. Face. We're gonna go. Okay. Yes. I know what I'm doing. We're gonna go to face text. And no, we're not gonna go to face text. We're gonna go to face photo capture. Right here. There you go. As you can see, I'm based out basically exactly what I did. Exactly what I did. Perfect. There we go. And what you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to line it up, line your face with the creator wrestler's face as close as possible. And what you wanna do is you wanna focus on the eyes, nose, and mouth. You wanna make sure those are as best aligned as possible. The eyes, nose, and mouth. Make sure they're as close as possible. And you could also um, make it smaller or bigger to adjust uh, to the uh, creator wrestler. There we go. I'm looking at the eyes right now. I'm making sure they align as close as possible. As close as possible. Hold on, I wanna go back. I wanna go back. At first you don't succeed, try, try again. Next, facial region. Yeah, and this is where we get into the nitty gritty of it. Make sure you're looking at your creator wrestler too, cause it's pretty important. It's how it's gonna look, uh, it's how the end result is gonna look. And if it looks off to you, you could just cancel out and um, try it again. All right, that's pretty good. And now I am going to uh, skin color picker. Let me see. It's here. Here. I am pretty pasty. I'm not Seamus pasty, but those good. That side profile definitely looks like me. It's kind of weird. There we go. That's good. And all I did, the attire, edit attire. All I did here, I go to appearance, hair, facial parts. I got rid of my eyebrows. Basically eyebrows, I got rid of the eyebrows because I thought the um, the face capture uh, eyebrows just looks better in general on your creator wrestler. And uh, I put my, I found hair that fits me and I found a beard that fits me as well. So I think this looks pretty good. I think this looks pretty good. I'm pretty happy with it. But yes, if you appreciate the help and you um and you want more wrestling content or WWE 2K24 wrestling content, hit that like button and hit that subscribe button as well. Thank everyone so much for spending a little bit of time with me today and bye bye my pipizo.